Ooh, what's up, guys? This is the Rofman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dador Let's Play as, as the Kingdom of Portugal. And to this episode, we're going to take uh, the Hungarian capital. We've got a pretty decent army of reinforcements coming in, so we need to. Ideally, I want to um, deplete this as much as possible, draw in their reinforcements so we know where they're coming in, and take the opportunity to knock out their artillery. Um, they've got plenty of mortars, we need to keep an eye on that. Lots of infantry, so our, our howitzers are going to be kept busy. Uh, chunking away at all of their infantry units. Then after this we can get on with taking the capital. You can never play the future by the past. Eh, doesn't, doesn't stop people trying though. Uh, right, so this is a small settlement, so if we drop our howitzers forward we should have good coverage of the centre. We just need to make sure we knock down the walls in good fashion. Force them to defend the various sections. Ah, oh, rain. So, foot artillery back here. Oh, what's this up front? Uh, let's not go too mad with marking out the infantry for now. Oh, I missed one. Group the cavalry up, they don't really matter for now. So, howitzers, quick climb. I, I foresee a block. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So I see I foresee a block in the center. So just get to work on the the wall. What are you choosing to shoot at? Oh, you are shooting at the section of the wall. There we go. Starting to pick up pick them off in the center. We're going to take our time with this. We're going to... We're going to see what develops and maximise our use of howitzers. It appears our... So for, for no reason, the guns have decided we don't want to shoot anymore. So we've had to give them a new give them the order again. Shoot out of the wall. At least they are all firing though. Killed their general, which is always nice. I'm thinning out lots of their heavy cavalry, uh, pikemen, and mortars. Although I can only see the one unit of mortars at the minute, so maybe they're hiding. Hmm. Speed up time. Guns have their instructions. They are all engaging the wall, which is good. Thinning out the center real nice. Could, in theory, have tried to work out Try to uh, trap a bunch of them on the walls, but there's no... We're not super worried about that. Okay, let's start to attack the blocks of infantry that are at play. Make sure the gunners are shooting at what I want them to shoot at. Get our uh, howitzers working on these infantry units that are hopping off the wall to try and defend the breaches. We may be lucky and trap them out on the walls, but have to wait and see on that one. A bunch of the guns have decided we don't want to shoot. Quick climb away! Get 
one to go for the Grenadiers, another to go for this garrison line unit that sat there in perfect position. Gunners are still working, except the odd gun that's decided that it's just bugged out. If we get them down below 50%, then they will. All these guys will die as the section collapses. Yeah, we lost one gun, so that's impacted our firepower, but not enough. You have not done enough, men on the walls. Because one missed, they have an opportunity to save the lives of their men, but they appear not to value them. Excellent hits. That's thinning them out nicely. There you go, they've fallen off the wall. Excellent. Good hit. One more volley and they're done for sure. Fusiliers, Hussars, Swiss Guards. Let's get one unit to shoot the Swiss Guards. So if they miss, they'll hit the Cuirassier Guard and the Karlstadt de Kandegrens Regiment. go. A few more guns firing. Oh, here we go. Excellent. Okay. You four units are one assault force. Assault unit, you're an assault unit. You're an assault unit, you're gonna flank. So let's start to find out where the enemy keeps their howitzers. And again, because it's raining, down problems. So let's split cavalry up. Get a quick line unit to work on some of this garrison guards unit here. Yeah, I should maybe focus, maybe just hit this area in general because they're, they're good targets relative to our howitzers. You don't really have any targets and that's a fair game. Aha! Bingo! see if my hussars can sprint down the line and ignore not be cut off by their hussars oh, good them coming in ah oh, eviscerated the militia line infantry guards not quite as effective so let's go after the hussars just because they will slow us down no nope, they're running away Keep going. No, they're not. So they run away when we attack them. But when we decide to run away, they turn turn around and decide, actually, you know what? We Maybe we want to stick around. So let's get the 6th Regiment up on the wall. That will force these guys to freak out and push. Keep going. Ignore whatever infantry out here you're bumping into. Ignore that entirely. Just get out and around. How it says quick climb the breaches because it appears they do not like like it when infantry attacks the walls. Okay, let's 
scale. Maybe get my light infantry to scale further along the edge. Grenadiers scale the gate. So the mortars are opening up on us. You may open fire on whomever you like. That's where the reinforcements are coming in. So position my cavalry ready. Excellent. Yeah, how it's just hammer, quick climb into the breaches. General coming up first. Mountain Jaeger. Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's mass group my cavalry together. Because a lot of what they've got coming in are skirmishes. No, don't run down the stairs. Mass on the top. Let them come up to you. Once we if, we, if we can knock out these units, we'll storm in. We're going to storm in now. How it's just quick climb the men in the center. Actually, one of you keep working on this breach because they're still here in decent numbers. Swiss plates have come after us. Run through them and then keep going back to the mortars. Advance on the enemy general. The U men engage these light infantry that are coming in. Secure that gate. This light infantry secure this gate. Grenadiers. Charge the Swiss guards as they try and stop us. The armed citizenry. We can smack them with one massive artillery volley. They'll break and then we can get us. That's our second way in. The general's hidden. Oh no, he's not hidden. He's gone after these guys. You're a bit vulnerable because they are pikes, and pikes are still scary regardless, but they are wavering, so if we can kill enough of them, there we go, they're broken. Just shatter them enough they don't come back. Excellent. Push back. How it's a switch to round shot. Bombard the line infantry guards. Push in. Uh, you men get off that section. Keep an eye on the cavalry. Charge into the rear of the enemies in the breach. Look at my 
grenadiers, let's run them into the centre. It appears their fusiliers don't really want to stop us exactly. Even secure the gate. Actually, the expat infantry don't mass inside. Go here and shoot the line infantry guards in the back. All my artillery focus on the armed citizenry. There we go. New men form square over the center. Fuse laser waverings are being shot in the face. But I'm hoping the expat infantry will do some good work into the rear of the my infantry guards. Second rank. Kill that last Swiss Guardsman. Alright, let's commit my cavalry to attack the enemy Jaeger coming in. There you go, we're keeping him away from the square. They killed one of my grenadiers! Irish Brigade attack the garrison line unit. Eviscerate them. Push our uh, those guards in it. Foot guards. Pull back. There you go. They charged my fusiliers. So now they're going to get surrounded and destroyed by my infantry. The gun has made it into the. <laughs> they haven't noticed me yet. The arm city has got destroyed by artillery fire. But there we go, the city is ours. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. that. Let's get it repaired. Let's get it replenished. Um, okay, so it's your turn. But I think I would I'd like a bit more how to support. So we've got you sieged. That's okay. If you want to push out and attack us, you can. You guys are replenishing, but you are ripe to go after Zagreb in the end. These guys are all just going to go after Sarajevo, Belgrade, Bosnia's... <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we're coming after them. There's not a lot they can do. So, I mean, you're nearly 100% Protestant, 100% Catholic anyway, but we're still going to do it. So, we are benevolent rulers. We will invest in the economies of the places we conquer. Excellent. Klausenberg's en route. I mean, there's a lot of things that are about to be taken. Um, you guys. So, let's start the, the landing at Genoa. The assumption, which I think is a good one, is that these armies are all incredibly depleted. None of these, none of those armies are not good armies. They are weak. If you're replenishing, replenishing as are you, but you're moving up. You're within range of, of attacking Prague, but you're not there yet. Like I said, we're going to hold a little bit. We're going to attack them next turn, maybe with extra support. Because one howitzer is not a huge amount of firepower, and especially because they've got 
heavy horse artillery. They might be able to shoot back at me and eviscerate my artillery force, so I need to be careful. Every all my all the schools are being demolished. Yeah, let's hit enter and then watch things tick on. You're going to not make it, but you're gonna be swapped for that fifth rate. There we go. Ah, they're going to they're going to push out. That's different. If they want to attack us, then they are more than welcome. We can set up a defensive line, eviscerate them as they come forward, even if they win. We've just got so much firepower now that it doesn't really matter. I mean, ideally, we will we will win. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. I think we're going to be, we're going to be okay. Set the guns up in the, in the line, just to make sure that their massed infantry doesn't overwhelm us. Ooh, hello. Bing bong, let's set up. First of all, let's set two guns. We're gonna put two guns in the line. To you and this unit. Oh, just a second. Sorry about that. Um, then set another gun up here. Four units ready to spread out on the right. Bunch of units spread out on the left. One gun that's going to be sat further back. Their focus is going to be counter battery. Howitzers just open up. We've got a good amount of infantry here. I mean, very much corner camping, but this is cool. This is neat. Trapping all those light infantry guards. You guys, can you attack the heavy horse in the town? Oh, not within range, but they can shoot at us, apparently. Ah, they think they can, but they can't. Excellent. Yeah, you shrapnel them. The howitzers focus on the 27th behind them. I mean, if they push around, I mean, that would be quite good. If they get light infantry up here and fire into our flank. But if they do, we'll just wrap around here. You poor devils, you're being asked to advance on your own. You wanted this, Austria. You wanted this, and now you're going to cost the 16th foot guards everything they've got. That's not how you load a gun, you idiot. It's supposed to go down the thing, not next to it. Three excellent shots from each gun. Now well, they're about to march within. They're gonna fire your volley and then withdraw. There we go. They've made their token gesture of resistance. Can you shoot at the 8th Regiment? You can. You may destroy your own little cart, but... Can 
Yeah, one gun will do. And you missed. Grab the shot of the mortar unit that's pushing out. Quicklime, coming in. Probably get them to, I mean, just attack ground here. In face of everything that's heading our way. Sadly, just the one gun. Getting hits, god damn it. I may try and limber you guys up and redeploy you. Can get my get my uh, cavalry out here, because they're about to try deploy their They're about to try deploy their cavalry. have got another volley and they're gonna pull back. The FC Air Guards are coming in. Where's this gun team? Pikemen commit. Crash into these artillery men. The Curiosity Guard are running. Get out of here, Hussars. Run! My Hussars commit against the Hussars. You men engage the shotgunners. Then when these guys break, they're going to run off the edge of the map immediately. Go for the blend of our shotgunners. Showing you what it means to suffer. Probably just have to deal with being about going here, I guess. Well, where, right where the general is. Let's move you. You're the enemy general. Who was he killed? Ah, the Curiosity Guardian. So we got blast off his horse by shrapnel shot. Short range canister shot seems to be more dependable. Quick climb on the flank against the militia would be useful. You're just using good old fashioned musketry. You've had enough.
them in a force charge the militia. They look completely unaware of what's about to happen. There's a Royal Crusier Guard unit. Are they going to suicide charge in? No. Nope. Oh, they're not ready. They're not ready. Downhill charge as well. Shredded. Oh, they're committing the Cressier Guard against our Regiment of Force. If we can break them. Sadly not. Okay, this might not... Eh, it's not too terrible. Not ideal. So here comes their reinforcements. If we just shatter the... Oh, there you go. We broke the infantry. So you're not as heavy as the Curacia Guard are, but you outnumber them significantly. Quick climb. Go against the garrison line. Oh, aim at the general's bodyguard specifically. Slow. You missed. about to fire. Boom. You missed. <laughs> Not the most accurate weapons. Okay, get my cavalry out of the way. Now they're getting picked off by our skirmishes. So this is where they they have the more yeah horse guard artillery coming in. If you can break their morale, smash them with the cavalry, retarget the artillery. The cavalry's gonna start to get picked off by more skirmishes. I oh, know, terrain's not very good for that. Let's bring my cavalry back. Oh, they, they want to charge their Jaegers into the cavalry. Great, foolish. Guards that are running. Okay, I think it's time to commit my cavalry to go sniping there. Oh, there you go. You're shooting round shot now. Everyone's up and involved. No, artillery just cease fire. Go on, General. Enjoy the route. You kill the last of these Jaeger. Ignore the Guardsmen. Actually, all my artillery with round shot engage the Guardsmen. run past the pikes smash into the horse artillery especially while they're limbered up because then they'll fall quite nicely there we 
do. After Swiss Grenadiers, I suppose. Fortunately, they've escaped. All artillery target the Swiss Pikes, because they're not going to be around for very long. Yeah, just go after anyone you like, really. left six one got him we're not going to continue fighting it looks like there is an infantry unit bugged out somewhere around here so we are going to end the battle rather than keep fighting it glory is fleeting but obscurity is forever well it says napoleon napoleon the goober god damn napoleon did he do great stuff yes he did but we brought him, everyone, the, the continent brought him down a peg or two. And when he tried it again, we let him know we didn't appreciate it. Let's see if Genoa comes after us. If they immediately jump on our bridgehead, or beachhead. Or let's see if they, if they are too afraid to fight us. There we go. As I suspected, they do not have the money to sustain a large standing army, so they've got lots of little ones. <laughs> so we're going to drive them back. We don't want to kill them. Specifically don't want to kill them, because then the final battle means we've got a, lo a large number of weak units rather than a smaller number of strong units when we take their city. So once we drive them off, let them be driven off. Do not pursue. Because the AI doesn't normally consolidate in the way that a human player may. You know what I like? That terrain feature is quite nice. I don't know where the reinforcements are coming in from, so I'm not going to go too crazy. You deployed. You know, I might. Eh. Let's see what's going on first, because right now, like I said, we don't know where the reinforcements are coming in from. Granted, they're not very strong, but what, where is the sense in getting too badly caught out? Them. Most of the guns committed. Just let the howitzers fire a round shot. Make sure everyone's unlimbered. Here would have would have we would have been exposed by these fellows coming in from the rear. But I think it's not going to overly matter that much what they do. Even these guys coming in from a funny angle. Why are you not flying? Oh, there's a little ridge here. together just give the artillery just give the orders to engage do you fancy it general you're, you're one of the strongest units on the field yeah, got some provincial cav but there we go provincial cav shattered more provincial cav coming in they too will be shattered Go on, camel mercenaries, get your little 
carbines up. You may get our artillery, don't care. Although it looks like you're going to avoid the artillery, which is damn decent of you. Back you go, you devils! What about the spooky camels? Okay, General, pursue that cavalry. Hey, we are sending conscripts against the artillery, but shut my mouth. Shut. Yeah, my gunners off the take they'll fend them off. Here you go. You men, man your guns. Ah, go on, let's just send in the cavalry. Push up my infantry. Just try smash him. Conscripts, although my camels are getting. They're having bad experiences. All the artillery engage the provincial boss. And once you enter the field, will there be... Maybe you won't enter the field. Maybe you are bugged. You go after them. Artillery bombard right here. You've done quite well to hold off this far. You men smash here. I'm just trying to kill these guys on the edge, but they're gonna, that's going to be a bit tricky if they don't spawn in. There we go, that's the cavalry down. Native Indian calf still holding strong. More reinforcements coming in. I mean, I suppose I ought to be running units up to block them off. Artillery all cease fire. Here 
you all have to run directly into the path of those sea boys, sea boys, and engage them in melee combat. Go get him, go get him, boys. Yeah, you won't, you can't, you won't kill them yourself. They'll just keep marching through the line. But you can only, you can, you gotta do what you gotta do. Another unit in. There we go, everyone's upset. You'll be upset when your time comes. This will teach you to not keep standing armies, or to keep weak standing armies. <laughs> so what's happened here? You're down to 51. Bring the lines down a little bit. Yep, there we go. So I think, because these guys don't count as having technically entered the field, they don't count as far as the enemy's enemy being broken is concerned. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that that's how it is. Otherwise, we got a lot of things to figure out. Excellent. So do they count as being on the field or not? Sadly, they may do. In which case then... In theory, uh, if we just end the battle, well, we do win the battle, but right now we need to, we need to uh, wipe out that reinforcing unit. And there's one way, one good way to do it. That's to roll up the artillery and attack ground. So you guys just have an order to just attack ground here. And hope that we kill these units, because these are the guys that are keeping it stuck. So one way to do it is to just hope a round shot gets it. Another way to do it is to hope that quick climb gets it. So then when they come in, but in theory, if we kill them, it should make the unit unstuck. Actually, you're both okay there. Don't want to be too close. But this is why Quicklime solves so many problems because of its area of effect. first shot do it. I, mean, I think those are all misses so that's okay. There we go like that. There we go. Excellent we've unjammed it. And we're killing them that haven't even come in yet. Yeah, okay, let's just speed this up because uh 
you're done for. <laughs> this is so mean, but I love it. That's right. They just they killed two thirds of them before they even entered the field. There we go. Same thing. Attack ground here. Need to kill this guy. Artillery and limber. Shrapnel shots out of range. Kill them. Still there. Kill them. Good, that's another unit coming in. Okay, sweet. <laughs> this will teach you to try and win by sneaky methods, although you are gonna No, you're actually you are gonna make it in. Sometimes I think it's just the terrain. The terrain causes them to kinda of glitch out. These guys have done the same thing. Killed them, so now they have come in. Delicious. Uh, yeah, I think it's important to show this stuff so if you guys have the same problems, you can see how I come up against them. <laughs> we tried to keep. We tried to defend ourselves. Ah oh, no! Quick peace. Sorry, Tito. That's the end of your fun and games. I hope if we, I hope if they Saxony gets close enough to uh, ah, Prague, it may be a combined offensive, which would be quite fun. But anyway, come on, let me in, let me in. So much money, alliance broken between Portugal and Sweden. Oh ho! Well, if you try it, Sweden, we're ready to push on Copenhagen. We're ready to jump on Riga. We're ready to push in towards Finland. We're ready to jump on Christiana. And our navy... Our navy is just spoiling for a fight. So let's advance more into the Baltic. I think I've got in my own way. <laughs> and let's recruit some sick traits. Their only job will be to pick up Bergen and oh, there's no, there are no fleets to the north. Although we've got one up here, but we're ready to jump on you. That's the point. That's the the aim of the game. So you're going to go after Sophia. You're going to go after Belgrade. You're going to demand the surrender of Belgrade because there's no one in it. When I say no one in it, I mean no additional armies. It's only a small garrison. And small garrisons are much more likely to surrender to a full attacking army. Build, build, build. Upgrade the roads because everyone's coming through, baby. You're still replenishing. You want to go for Sarajevo. You're going to go after Klausenberg. You're going to... What are you going to do? Just head straight over here, I guess. You're going to just attack these raiders. Just slaughter them. This is why we have a couple of armies dotted around the joint, so that when they do that, they don't make it. You okay, push up towards Vienna, save it. You men, I mean, they're not going to help us take Prague, that's unfortunate. But it does mean we can start to go. Muhahaha. Start to position our armies. Minus one. Although you are just a big fat garrison. Minus four. 
Okay, new port emerges. Pylos in Morea. Good. Good, good, good. Upgrade Piraeus. I mean, don't, don't really care about the Austrian Navy. They're going to get smacked. Just push up towards... Well, I mean, so Sophia, Klausenberg, Sarajevo is exposed. In theory, if you jumped onto Zagreb... Hey, you got the twin generals. Um, we could destroy Austria in one turn, but we're not going to do that. Not just yet, anyway. Not that we need to keep building any of this stuff, I just kind of want to. So we did these in Greece. You know, so oh, you're going to be ready to move on Saxony. Good, good. Our Remelia needs to have all their stuff repaired. Good, and then down here in Bastia. You men can replenish while these guys push forward and go to take the city. Um, so next turn we've got a whole bunch of fights to do. So let's start off um, in the south. Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And next time, we're going to capture a whole bunch more territory and bring the campaign so close to its final conclusion. We'll see you next time, everyone.